Would you like me to pull on your pants, Chester? I won't charge you extra. I'd like to pull on your pants. <laughs> Did Leave It to Beaver capture your imagination as a child with its charming portrayal of American family life? Renowned for being a beacon of warmth and innocence on the television landscape, this classic sitcom provided a serene escape into the quintessential American dream during a period rife with boundary-pushing content. Amidst an entertainment world exploring complex themes of sexuality and violence, Leave it to Beaver remained a testament to simpler times, deeply resonating with its audience. Yet a singular groundbreaking scene subtly signaled the show's end, setting a precedent for future television storytelling in a manner its creators could hardly have foreseen. Join us as we venture back to the wholesome streets of Mayfield to uncover the remarkable moment that gracefully concluded the beloved saga of the Cleaver family. A narrative set apart. Making its debut in 1957 and continuing through to 1963, Leave It to Beaver unfolded over 235 episodes, chronicling the lives of the Cleaver family, emblematic of the quintessential all-American household nestled in a picturesque small town. Central to the narrative was the family's youngest, Theodore, affectionately dubbed The Beaver, from whose perspective the tales were ingeniously narrated, a narrative choice that set the show apart during the 50s and 60s. At a time when the majority of prominent American series catered to adult audiences with adult storytellers, featuring sitcoms such as The Andy Griffith Show and westerns like Gunsmoke and Bonanza, Leave It to Beaver charted its own course. The creators resisted the trend of appealing to adult themes, opting instead to preserve the show's wholesome charm, a decision that solidified its enduring appeal. The groundbreaking finale. What scene led to the conclusion of Leave It to Beaver? In the series' final episode, viewers found the Cleaver family gathered, flipping through a scrapbook filled with old family photographs. This episode took audiences on a nostalgic journey through flashbacks, showcasing some of the series' most memorable moments. This approach to signaling the show's conclusion was unprecedented in television finales. Leave it to Beaver stood out as the first primetime TV show in the nation to employ this method, effectively concluding its narrative and tying up the Cleaver family's story arcs. Prior to this, Many American television series concluded without offering a clear resolution, leaving viewers in the dark about the futures of their beloved characters. By providing a definitive end, Leave it to Beaver pioneered a new standard for television finales, unknowingly setting a benchmark that was more innovative than many of the more provocative shows of its time. Why the show ended? What led to the conclusion of Leave it to Beaver? The decision to end the show was significantly influenced by Jerry Mathers, who portrayed the Beaver. Entering his teenage years, Mathers was keen on experiencing high school life. By this stage, his character's youthful escapades no longer suited his growing age, making the portrayal of the Beaver's juvenile antics on screen implausible. Upon expressing his desire to exit the role and focus on his education, the producers agreed to bring the series to a close. As the final episode aired in 1963, it evoked a sense of nostalgia among the viewers, reminiscing over the heartwarming episodes shared with the Cleaver family. Despite its conclusion, Leave it to Beaver has remained a staple of American culture, cherished across multiple generations. Following its end, the show saw several revivals, including a 1983 TV movie, Still the Beaver, and a subsequent series, The New Leave it to Beaver, where the Beaver and his brother Wally are portrayed as adults. In 1997, a Leave it to Beaver feature film also graced the screens, featuring original cast members Barbara Billingsley as June Cleaver and Ken Osmond as Eddie Haskell, further cementing its legacy in American television history. Preserving the Black and White Era Leave it to Beaver stood out for maintaining its black and white format at a time when the transition to color television was becoming increasingly popular. In the early 1960s, while most shows were still broadcast in black and white, hits like The Virginian, Bonanza, and The Flintstones were pioneering the move to color aligning with the growing preference among American viewers for colorized content. Despite this trend and the apparent shift in audience tastes, Leave it to Beaver opted to retain its original monochrome presentation throughout its run. The production team did contemplate the switch to color broadcasting, but was deterred by the anticipated complications, including a significant increase in production costs, reduced rehearsal time for the cast, and the logistical challenges of adjusting lighting for color filming which could potentially disrupt the shooting schedule. The show's focus remained steadfastly on delivering quality content, 
a commitment the creators believed would transcend the medium's color palette. Moreover, by 1963, as Jerry Mathers grew older, the feasibility of continuing the show under its existing format was diminishing. However, the decision to remain in black and white did not detract from the show's appeal. Leave it to Beaver has preserved a remarkable legacy, one that few other television series have been able to rival, regardless of their color status. The Essence of Leave It to Beaver Leave It to Beaver embraced a storytelling formula beloved by American audiences, showcasing the life of a warm, quintessential American family that invariably concluded each episode on a positive note. Its distinctiveness lay in the narrative being presented through the eyes of the young protagonist, Beaver, who was invariably at the heart of the storyline. Beaver's curiosity and antics often landed him in humorous predicaments, such as the memorable episode where he found himself stuck in a giant cup on a billboard, driven by his quest to discover if it contained any soup. Set in the fictional yet idyllic town of Mayfield, the show offered viewers a slice of an idealized American life. Despite its fictional nature, the innocence and values it portrayed resonated deeply with viewers. The character of Ward Cleaver, the family patriarch, was portrayed as a model of patience and understanding, never resorting to harsh discipline. June Cleaver, the matriarch, epitomized the loving and impeccably dressed housewife. The dynamic within the Beaver's neighborhood, including his brother Wally and the mischievous Eddie Haskell, who was known for his two-faced charm around adults, added layers to the show's appeal. A significant aspect of Leave It to Beaver was its progressive respect for the perspectives of children, treating their viewpoints with seriousness and consideration, which was a rarity at the time. Overcoming Early Challenges Despite a rocky debut season with disappointing ratings, Leave It to Beaver faced the threat of cancellation by CBS, which could have erased it from popular culture. Fortuitously, ABC saw potential in the sitcom and took over, shifting its airtime from Fridays to Thursdays. This strategic move significantly increased its audience, revitalizing the show's prospects. By the end of its sophomore season, Leave It to Beaver had not only rebounded but also become a beloved hit, securing its place on the air for four additional seasons. A Lasting Legacy The inaugural episode of Leave It to Beaver aired on April 23, 1957, introducing viewers to a young character named Frankie, portrayed by Harry Shearer, who would later rise to fame as one of America's most celebrated voice actors, notably for his work on The Simpsons. There's a circulating rumor that Jerry Mathers, known for his iconic role as the Beaver, had a cameo appearance on I Love Lucy before Leave It to Beaver catapulted him to stardom, a role that remains his most memorable contribution to television. Throughout the show, the Cleaver family was a constant presence, with Jerry Mathers standing out as the last surviving main cast member, now largely retired. Mathers frequently shares his cherished memories of the show in interviews. With each season boasting over 30 episodes, Leave It to Beaver, has amassed a collection of stories that continue to captivate both longtime enthusiasts and new audiences, securing its status as a genuine American classic expected to delight viewers for many more years. Now it's time to hear from you. Which Leave It to Beaver moment has stayed with you through the years? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.